ready for her close-up, the return of the St. Cecilia stained glass window to Egghorn Hall. An amazing journey that began for MCHS in the summer of 2020 is nearing the home stretch. St. Cecilia, the 1886 stained glass window commissioned by the cranes of Acorn Hall in memory of their eldest daughter, Mary Hone, has completed conservation. Every inch of the century's old window has received a thorough, careful cleaning by Serpentino Stained Glass Studio in Needham, Massachusetts, and she is now ready for life on display in the Family Art Gallery at the Hall. Like many Lafarge windows, St. Cecilia was created with plates, layers of glass up to seven sheets thick, to achieve the exact hue and luminosity desired. Effectively cleaning and inspecting each layer for cracks required first removing the plates from the front and back of the window to bring it down to the base layer. In between the plates was found astronomical amounts of soot, dirt, and even bugs. But thankfully, little damage requiring repair. Accomplished largely with Q-tips, it was a very slow process. This process had the added bonus of providing a unique opportunity to examine how the window was created and the craftsmanship involved. While in the window, the plate's edges were concealed by the lead, but once removed, revealed insight into how they were cut and shaped. The tight, concave curves found on several plates of textured glass not easily accomplished with hand tools, are testaments to the masterful skill of the creators. Close inspection of the window by Serpentino's Roberto Rosa, vice president and principal conservator, also led to another revelation. The window's flesh seems to have been painted by two different artists. While the painting of the two angels' faces and hands appear to be typical of a Lafarge window, St. Cecilia's face and hands are less reminiscent of his work, or that of his preferred glass painter, Juliet Hansen. This may be a reflection of the upheaval in Lafarge's life during the mid-1880s, the period of the window's creation, which is mirrored in the uncertain historical record regarding the window's commission and execution. MCHS eagerly anticipates sharing her with visitors at the hall for years to come. She is now on view for all to enjoy this nationally significant work of art and fascinating piece of Morris County history. For more information about Mary Hone and the ongoing research into the St. Cecilia window, check out our past blogs, Who Are the Cranes? Two Very Different Sisters, and Uncovering St. Cecilia's Artistic History, One Stone at a Time, by visiting the links in the description box below.